Okay, so here's our friend, the Western Fence Lizard. And what this guy does, okay, is that he, he provides a very uh, useful ecosystem service. Uh, he's basically the reason why Lyme disease is a little bit trickier of a time getting established in the tick population out here than it does back east where these guys don't occur. This organism, this little dainty bastard, this lizard, has an antibody in its blood that kills the Lyme disease spirochete. Uh, this was discovered in the 90s. You can look it up. I forget who discovered it or who wrote the paper, but you got to go to Google Scholar and look the paper up, then go steal it on Sci-Hub. But basically what goes on is that a tick feeds on this guy, the blood from this guy goes into the tick, and it effectively cleanses the tick of the Lyme disease spirochete, the, the bacteria that causes Lyme disease. Now, Lyme disease, I, I believe, is a spirochete, just like syphilis. So, uh... A real nasty fucking pathogen too, but you know this guy's uh, uh, blood. I, I guess I, I, it's kind of sorry, buddy, to say this, but you want the ticks to feed on this guy because, like I said, he's uh, he cleanses that tick of uh, Lyme disease. So that tick will then detach; it'll have babies. But if it did have the Lyme disease spirochete in its body, the tick's body, when it fed on this guy, after feeding on him, it will not have that spirochete in its body anymore. So. Uh, you got to thank these guys. You got to, uh, you want these lizards around. You know, unfortunate truth here, though, is, of course, that uh, free-roaming cats uh, kill a lot of these guys. Uh, no cat should be outdoors free-roaming ever, you know, unattended. Just like a dog. You wouldn't do it with a dog. Why are you going to do it with a cat? It's unhealthy for the cat, and it's unhealthy for the wildlife, too. Okay, because they just, they kill lots of wildlife. They, it turns out they don't even really affect rat populations that much. They mostly seem to prefer birds and mice and lizards. Lizards are a lot easier to catch. I mean, obviously, if I pick this guy up, you could see an outdoor cat would just rip this guy to shreds. Half the time, not even eat him and just leave him mutilated, shredded, and uh, bleeding somewhere. So, uh, and it's a shame, because like I said, you want these guys around. I do a tremendous benefit uh, to your ass, too, not just to the ecosystem in general. And they eat lots of bugs.